Hey folks. Welcome to the stream. Some Conan Exiles. Let's play. I got my buddy Grumpy here. You hear Grumps? Yeah, I'm here. And you're I'm, logged I'm, in or? I'm, I'm gonna have to log out and put on my, my headset and stuff. I'll be back. Okay. So Grumps is gonna join me later. Um, I don't think this is technically supposed to happen. I think he flies away, theoretically. But I logged in right here. And this, this guy didn't fly away. He's just munching on this corpse. Wish I could take his stuff, but I cannot. Hmm. Okay. Looks like I need to get some clothing and stuff. Just kind of brand new character, brand new experience. I tried several times earlier and uh, it became nighttime and I died. So, nighttime is pretty scary in this game. Start out by just the typical collecting of plant fiber and rocks. Because I am a slave who was set free off the cross by, I think, Conan himself. I think I made a Sumerian, and I believe I am worshipping Krom. You, that's, you gotta do that. I mean, why else would you play this game? Oh shit, it's getting nighttime. I'm gonna be screwed. I feel like I'm blacking out. No, it's definitely nighttime. Okay. Oh, there he finally flew away. A lot of times when you hug up next to a rock here, you can get shelter. I have a feeling I'm going to die. Let's get some more clothes on. Naked and afraid, and it's dark. All right. Made myself a tunic. Can't do pants yet. I leveled up. Let's go with survival. Survival is a measurability in the harsh conditions. It affects how easily you metabolize food. Oh, I already have two survival. Okay. Learn recipes. It'd be nice to build a fireplace. I already got that, right? Let's do this. Campfire. This is a house. I think we need this first. Unlock. I think I'm going to go survival right away. I need to get somewhere, but not here. I need to go where there's some trees. And maybe some water. Maybe some shelter. I see a tree over here. 
Let's head this direction. Man, it's dark. Let's see if I can take shelter over here. Yes, this is considered shelter. Oh shit, cactus. I thought that was a tree. Ooh, there's a fireplace over there. Huh, there's a fireplace. For some reason I didn't start with the water skin like I did previously, which makes this really hard for me to survive. When my father died, I knew they would be coming for me. It was only a matter of time. What I didn't expect was this to be crucified and left to rot on the edge of a wasteland that I have never seen before. It makes sense to me that the cowardly fools that they sent to do the job would not have the courage to kill me. They are mongrels, the cast-off bloodlines of slaves and commoners, and such as they do not dare to spill royal blood. Instead, I was bound hand, foot, and mouth and smuggled out to God's know where. They left me for the vultures, but I was rescued by a man. Such a man, clean limbed and bronze skinned. I have never seen his like in the cities of Shem. He came to me as I hung from the cross, and his icy blue stare was a challenge. Did I dare to live? Now I crouch at the edge of this wasteland, once a daughter of princes, now a nameless exile in an unfamiliar land. The shaft of the double-bladed axe that he gave me is a comforting weight in my hands. The answer is yes. I will live. I wasn't expecting voice acting. Or narrative, but that's kind of cool. Alright, well I see trees over this direction, so I think I should head towards... Trees. And that looks a little steep. Yeah, not gonna do that. I wish there was a map in the game. Maybe there is. I just don't know it. I'm 
light up the rocks. thirsty here so I need to probably get some water and I wouldn't know where to get water so I don't have a water skin well oh snap there's a critter over there I don't want to fight any critters. I just want some water. <laughs> I have a feeling this ain't going to go so well. That guy's chasing me. Looks like I evaded him. Oh man, it's an invisible wall. That's lame. Look at that. There's water. Let's see how easy it is to drink. Hey, Mega. Watch, there's going to be an alligator in here, and I'm just going to get devoured. There's something moving underwater. Nice, there's water. Hey, Staunch. Um, well, I, w I went to make a character, and my character's already made. Um, I had to make sure that I turned the nudity off, because the first character I made was full nudity. Can you make white females? Yes, you can. Uh, I'm pretty much a white female. All right, so I got water. Now I need food. Yeah. <laughs> there is some jiggle gifts. There is jiggle. Okay, these, these kind of look like they're banana trees. Can I have a banana? fireplace some beds around it wonder who lives here so I'm playing on max settings I'm getting a pretty consistent uh, 30 frames per second it looks like uh, nothing major is really slowing it down and uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, 
I guess you're allowed to stream full nudity in this game. I wouldn't... I wouldn't do it. I mean, my, I think my channel is for adults, but the full nudity part is just a little too much, from, in my opinion. I'm, I'm, it's, you know, there's no reason to stream that. All right, so I got a source of water. Somebody built a fire, it looks like. Oh, I took a branch out of the fire, really? Yeah, Conan's great. I love the Conan. I used to, did you, anybody else here play the Conan online game? Can't remember who made it. Oh wait, what's this? That's what I thought it was. Oh my god, my hunger's weak. I need to figure out how to get some food. Alright, maybe crafting tools will get me there. Let's get some pants on. Yeah, Yannick, it is. It looks really good, and it's really smooth, and it plays really smooth. Um, and this is this is full graphics. Of course, there's probably some uh, some uh, graininess because of YouTube or Twitch or whatever. But uh, it it looks really good on my end. Yeah, I'm playing out of. Oh shit. There was an alligator in that lake. Oh, what's this? Oh, grabbed his eggs, run. Oh wow, I think I got away. Renatus, how you doing, man? Whew, that was close. And I got eggs. I gotta watch out for them alligators. <laughs> Renatus, uh, it just came out last night and there's been a lot of hype for it. Um, I believe they've given a lot of keys out to streamers. I was given a key, so um, they've given a lot of keys out, I think, to streamers. And uh, I'm streaming on Hitbox, Twitch, and YouTube all at the same time. Um, so it seems to be one of the most popular things to do. Um, I thought I would give it a shot and a go and, and see how I enjoy it. My first impressions are I'm enjoying it a lot more than Ark. Um, and yeah, it's very similar to Ark, very similar. Um, but there is a lot of things that separate this from Ark into its own unique category, I believe. Yeah, except it runs smooth, right? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that's more. Pl that's easier plant fiber right there. Oh, that's actually giving me wood. I wanted more plant fiber. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, they know what's up. sticks a lot more rocks to make a fire shale back eggs I can either use them or split them I don't know if using them would eat them do I have to cook them first well let's just try oh it worked okay I can just eat them <laughs> yes exactly be able to charge you more money for more expansions before the game's released Stefan, what's up, man? Sup, me, dude. All right, hopefully that gave me enough food. Grabbing those eggs is a wise choice. All right, so what can I make now that's going to help me survive? Actually, I see more another nest over there. I do need more food. The shale back is standing there, though, guarding them. I thought this was going to be home. Too bad it's kind of probably supposed to be a rock there. Can't get in. Okay, there was a big alligator here last time. He jumped me. So I don't know why I need to build a fire if there's a fire here. As I can't use it. I can just take branches out of it. Or maybe I added a branch. It did say plus one branch though. No, Stefan, I haven't done Albion lately. Um, I've just been, you know, watching the development. They pushed back the extended, the, you know, the, the beta. I'm really, I'm really glad they did because I want that game to last a long time and not just be like one of those quick games. Die. Oh, shit. They're stuck. Oh no. Not happy. Okay, I got away. Oh. I got away. Whew. Holy shit ski. Is this shelter? Yes. This is shelter. Alright, so I think I'd probably want to build 
Oh, it's minimal. Oh, in this crack, it's a really good shelter. Just outside the crack. Yeah, it's, it's almost like an ARC mod the way it is. Um, it runs a lot better than ARC though. And it definitely feels like Conan. It doesn't feel like an ARC clone. All right, so what's going on here? I can make a bedroll. I need twine. Plant fiber. Okay, so I need I need to make a bedroll so I can make a respawn point. <laughs> the holy shelter crack. This is how I'm gonna win the game by living in this crack. Hey, there's a better crack. Nice, I like this one. This, this is shelter. Okay, I'm hungry again. This is lame. Oh, dude, look at that. Looks like a picked camp. Give me shelter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Getting some laggy spikes. Starving. Yeah, I know. Once, what do we do about this? Maybe I can find some bugs. Mm, no cactus food there. And this whole food thing at the beginning is pretty rough. I'm gonna have to run in there and grab some more eggs. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Get wrecked! I know, build a bed. Can't even make it to that point. I was killed by starvation. Well, you keep your attributes.
That's a bonus. Shit, gremlins are already on me. So the gremlin dude's just gonna kill me. I'm naked and afraid. Leave me alone. All right, got away. But there's that bad dude feasting again. I want his armor. Gods cursed this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that like fire. Or the bite of the axe. Oh, that's that sand. Ooh, oh, that's cool. It's all soft. It's blown in the wind. Oh, what the hell. That's that's neat. The sand. Videos I saw was pretty deep. This looks a little more. The early videos I saw, the sand looked a little too deep. This looks a little more, um, you know, reasonable. It's kind of cool how the wind blows the sticks down like into the sand. Yeah, it's nighttime. It's scary. There's no moon either. Oh, there it is. See, I actually have a little bit of food now. I have these bugs, handfuls of insects. You can turn on gamma to see better. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not having issues seeing. It might be really dark on stream. But for me, it's not too bad. Um, I'm still able to see. You can't make out things in black area. Hopefully I can survive the night. I mean, the moon is moving pretty quick.
Those don't feed me much. Hey, Muffet. Is this free on Steam? No, it's not, Beer Gut. But it is out on Steam. Actually, I don't really know how much it is. What's the best MMORPG I've ever played? Muffet, that's a pretty intense question. I mean, there's there's several that I've played. I mean, Ultima Online, Eve Online. Um, those those are some of my classic favorites. Dark Fall Online. Let's see. Let's head that direction again. That's where I was earlier. Star Wars Galaxy, I never got to play it when it was out. I've only played the uh, emulators. And I did enjoy that, but I don't feel like I got the full experience. So. Same with Shadowbane. I feel like I missed out on Shadowbane. Who did you vote for, Hillary or Trump, and who's better? <laughs> I actually didn't vote for president. Um, because my vote doesn't count anyway. There's this thing called the Electoral College that does voodoo magic, and they come up with who our president's going to be. The good news is our president really doesn't do much. He just stands there and talks. Um, so, and which one is better? I don't know. I think they're both really bad. I think we were screwed no matter what. That does not look friendly. It's funny, isn't isn't that a religion? It's like can can I become Muslim too? Well, the good news about this game is that you kind of keep your your character's progression. You just might lose your gear unless you got a house and stuff. Um, so the, the more I die, the easier it'll become. Sort of.
you have gained a level. Let's see, a mercenary. A stone sword and a wooden shield. That sounds good. Archer, can't unlock that yet. Apprentice craftsman's been unlocked. That's been unlocked. That's. I think I want to get this first before I get shelter. And then let's get some strength to get some melee damage. So hopefully with my sword and shield I can start taking out those uh, turtle guys with the eggs. just interrupt my craft? What the hell has happened? Oh, I made the pick. What? Okay, I made twine. Where did it go? Um, oh, it's in my inventory right there. That's weird. Why would it go to your hot bar? Yeah, I'm not too familiar with like all the races and religions in this game, um, but they definitely have a lot of them in there. Because I made a Sumerian who follows Krom. Okay, I got enough wood. I just need more twine. Space elephant. I gotta say the character models in this game are really nice. The movement's really great and the, you know everything seems to just be really smooth and flowing. Consistent 30 plus frames per second on max settings. I definitely don't have the best machine either. So I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the optimization so far. It is definitely playable. I don't think I've ran into any bugs currently that kind of make me irritated or stop me from continuing.
Tritosi, there's male characters, yes. I just, I always typically just play female. But there is male characters. Um, and you can change quite a lot of features on them. strength. That'll make me a sword, though. Yeah. Oh, shit, I'm thirsty. Not good. That means I gotta go through hostile territory to get some water. I think the water's down that direction. Huh? feeling I'm going to die of s Damn it. This is definitely a brutal game. Oh, what's this? Unconscious Oris. <laughs> I think it's, it's strictly a PvE server currently right now, so that's probably why I couldn't punch his corpse. Alright. Maybe I should try to find my body. Maybe I can get my stuff back. Let's, let's try to do that first before I go picking all my stuff over again. So which way did I go? I was over that way, I believe. Let me book it over there. Is that a stake? Oh, no. I believe I was over here somewhere. Not positive. But, I'm gonna go look for my stuffs first before I sit there and pick all that stuff over again. Alright, was this where I was at? No. This game's brutal. Was it over here? I'm defeated. I have no idea where I died. Those look like some enemies.
Hmm. Not aggressive? There's a rabbit. It's the first time I've seen a rabbit. Aggressive. <laughs> well, that was funny. Yeah. They got good sound. Oh, man. Maybe going for my gear was a bad idea. Maybe looking for my corpse was a bad idea. I remember being here. Very, yeah, it's, I mean, the gameplay is very similar, or the style is very similar to Ark. Um, there's a lot of features in this game that set it, set it apart from being Ark. Man. I'm going for a swim. Seems pretty really cool right here. Maybe I should. This is where I should make my base. This is not bad. This peninsula, I like it. Oh, they have PVE and PV, uh, P servers, and they also have the PVP Blitz server, which wipes every 30 days. So it, there's a little bit of different style to it, and I think a lot of it's going to involve uh, the different races and gods clashing. So that, that'll be interesting. I'm kind of jumping into a blind. They did give me a document to read over. Um, I'm definitely going to stream this again and read through that document. And I'll be a little more knowledgeable of what they're planning and where it's going. So uh, I'll definitely be doing that and streaming again. So.
Oh, neat. Hey, what's up, Keenan? Saw those bunnies, where'd they go? What in the world is that thing? Oh my god, a fat grub. That thing was huge. How is the FOV compared to ARC? I, you know, I haven't played ARC that long. So I, 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 I have a hard time comparing the two. I played ARC for a little bit and it ran really bad on my machine. Oh, here's another grub. Um, it ran really bad on my machine and so I've just been kind of waiting for it to actually finish. And it's going to be a long while. All right, so what else can I make here? I want to make swords and stuff, but I probably need these too. Now nah, let's make sword and shield first. It runs bad on all machines. Yeah, they're putting some tech technology into the. Uh, Art game, which kind of makes sense because they had those flying spaceships. Yeah, beer guy, you should see over the clothes off. It's pretty amazing. There's that bunny. Let's see if I can kill the bunny. There we go. What's up, Yannick? That was cool. Ah, the shadows in this game are phenomenal. Yeah, look at that. From all the way over there, it's reflecting a proper shadow. Wow. Gosh, this is phenomenal. Look at that. From all the way over there. I'm impressed with that shadow. What do you think about that Conan Exiles compared to your experience with Albion? Well, Albion's a uh, sandbox, more of a, like a 
Well, I mean, this is a sandbox game too, but this is a first person sandbox. Albion's more of that top down experience. They're completely different games in my opinion. Um, I think Albion's supposed to be like a living, breathing world, and this is kind of a instanced individual server where you play with your friends or your frenemies and have a lot of fun. Hair, fixes, hair physics are pretty decent. They are not over the top. Some hair physics are crazy, like your hair wraps around your throat or something like that. So like the cloth physics around her butt looks really nice. Um, her hair moves really nice, and, and the game just kind of plays pretty smooth. Pretty impressed with the uh, initial initial thoughts. All right, so now I got weapon. I got the weapon. more fiber now for the clothes. Beach look phenomenal as well. Like the wet sand area. Alright, full of water. Ooh, whoa, look at a bear. Alright, this is a little freaky nighttime. Hopefully no mobs come out here on my peninsula. Bart, what's going on, man? Yeah, exactly, Bart. It'll it'll happen again. When they launch, I'll definitely be here. <laughs> oh, I gotta go AFK a second.
All right, I'm back. There's plenty of time to get the game. Um, the only reason why I have it right now is because I applied for a key as a streamer. And they were kind enough to give me one. And um, I'm actually actually really enjoying this over Ark. I didn't play Ark for very long, but I could see myself playing this again. All right, so um, let's get something figured out. I need to make a little base, and I want it to be on this peninsula. Currently, just a small little base right here. Get some more fiber. Bronlock, what's up, buddy? Yeah, I need to make a fireplace. I think I got some meat and hides. I think I got meat, some rabbit meat. Mmm, big grubs. That's good that I can see that. There's another rabbit. I think I'm gonna get him. I like this peninsula. It's awesome. There's a rabbit spawn here and grub. Just getting bones and hides, though. Putrid meat. Dropping that shit. I know better. Okay, let's eat. That's weird I didn't get any uh, meat. Dr. Dank, what's up, man? <laughs> My chore porn. Bronlock, I've been playing um, also Haven and Hearth, which is very similar to Worm online in, in like the whole crafting system. It's really fun. I always feel like I hear somebody walking behind me. There's like an extra, like, footstep when you walk. Sounds strange. Oh, nice. I like it all. There's so much fiber on this peninsula. And there's rocks and trees and sticks. Nice, that gives me stone too. Cool. Oh, I wonder if these are all harvestable right here. Yep, sweet. Very cool crumbling mechanic. I like what I see. First person view, you look, you look down. Oh wait, let me get out of combat mode. So when you have nudity off, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> or when you have full nudity. Yep, the old jiggle. So I like that you can see your feet. I like that you can see your body. It's very immersive. I could see using like a VR headset with this game. Yep. This is Funcom's new game, Conan Exiles. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised I even left the house this morning. All right. 
to remember where I live. Let's build a fireplace. Uh, let's see. I want to build it on the top here so I can see it from all angles. So let's do like right here. This looks good. It's like the peak spot. I still can't craft it yet. What do I need? 50 sticks? I can handle that. Let's see. These give me sticks. Or branches. Two, two, nice. Timber. Oh, the whole thing vanishes. I was going to go for the stump. Let me at it. Man, I'm going to die of hunger again. I need to kind of figure out a good food source. Because those rabbits aren't giving me food. Maybe I could see, um, some more grubs. Dr. Dank, I'm on a private PVE server. I don't know, um, it's not my server, so I don't have permissions to give out the password. But if in case I do, I, I will share it with, you know, select people by them giving me a message or something. But uh, currently, I, I don't have that permission. So I really want to just get the experience of Conan before running into a player who felt like they needed to axe my face. Yeah. You know, you can also play, I think, single player. Um, I think there's enough NPC interaction in this game that it, there, it should be fun without having to be multiplayer. So that's kind of worth a try. Oh, those give fiber too. Nice. Didn't know that. Eat the seeds, drop the scither. Cook the putrid meat. I drop the putrid meat. I don't think you can eat the seed. I can split info or drop. I can eat these. Let's split, split, split. And then I can also find grubs. It's kind of weird killing the rabbit doesn't give me meat. Let me try killing it with the sword. Oh, there's a grub. <laughs> Just in time. I gotta watch out for those grubs. They keep spawning like right around here, which is awesome. Let's see if there's another grub. There is, right there. I'm gonna live off fat grubs. All right, moving in on that rabbit. Where'd it go? That's oh, right there. I can loot, I can open, or I can cancel. So, inside the corpse, there's nothing. So, looting it would mean nothing. So, I'm pretty sure I have to chop it. Oh, there's flesh. Okay, I got some flesh this time. So where I was going to build my fire, I was going to build fire right here. 
still can't build it. I need more sticks. The spot's got lots of sticks, lots of fiber, lots of rock, and it keeps respawning, so that's good. Another fat grub. make this happen. Fireplace. Eating bugs. 50 sticks. <laughs> okay, almost there. 50 god dang sticks. There's the meat I dropped. I'll see if I can cook it. That time I just got bone. I should make a bedroll too, because then I can uh, respawn here. Now I have to find my way back. Pick will give you meat? I'll try that. Ooh, it's working. OK, 
Okay, so what I can do, this is a shredded roast. I can't eat it. There we go. That was close. All right, doing a little better. I'll try a pick on a rabbit. But I need to make a sleeping bed, I think, right away. Turn this off, or is this going to overcook? It's going to burn for 24 minutes, and that wood was easy to get, so I'll just leave it on. In case I die <clears throat> sooner, I'll get a beacon. Is this a pay per month game? No, it's a buy once game. Very similar to Rust or Ark Survival. Yeah, it's time, freak. All right. So let's make myself a little a little place to sleep next to my fire. Hope I have enough. There we go. Oh, and I can level up. Let's do, let's see, agility helps me with moving when wearing different clothing. Vitality is my health. Accuracy determines the damage you do with range weapons. Grit determines the size of your stamina pool. Encumbrance. Let's do agility. Learn recipes. What can we learn now, folks? Oh, let's do the archer. No, wait. I don't want to actually build a base quite yet. Hunting bow. That sounds a little more like my style right there. can't really see it but there's there's my bed there it's kind of uh yeah let's see here let's do it right here on this side you can barely see my my bedroll on the grass and my spawn point's been updated. Nice. So now if I die up here. And I'm hungry for some more rabbit. Yeah. Well, that gave me bone and hide. So I think it's just, I think it's just random. That's what I'm thinking. I see another bunny. So those bunnies spawn pretty frequently out here. Um, hopefully I can figure out how to make stuff out of their hides because I'm getting a bunch of little leather.
Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. Oh, cool, you can hold your swing back. Still putrid meat. I don't know if I should eat it. Wonder if I can roast those. Roasted in roasted insects. Oh, what is this? Oh, it tells me how to do it. Although this looks a little different than this for some reason. Okay, those ones seem to be roasting. It's going to be a constant lookout for food. No, you can turn it off. Pretty sure. But it's going to last 17 minutes. So yeah, you can turn it off. Nice, right, so I'm at 80 food now. So I'm doing a little better. Full water, full food. It's time to start thinking about a bow here. We had bigger game.
nummy nummy. Hey, kitten girl, how you doing? Just so people are aware, I do stream to YouTube, Twitch, and Hitbox at the same time. So there is multiple people watching from different channels. So shouting out, I do see your chat. And I do respond. And uh, I do reply to comments in my videos. So if you are watching this at a later date, go ahead and comment. I do reply. <laughs> That's precise, precise uh, hitboxes there. Ain't no food on that one. Got to school? Nice. I'm doing really well. Enjoying a day off, streaming some games, having a good old time. Um, I played Black Desert for quite a while. Uh, my daughter both and I have it, and we played together quite often. Um, the, one of the main reasons why I, I think I fell out of BDO is that it's pretty much a 100% solo game. Uh, Chaz, I'm just about to start building a base. I'm just going to build a small one to start out. Um... So what got me turned off on BDO is just everything was done by yourself. Everything could be done by yourself. Harvesting, crafting. It's, it just kind of felt like there was no reason to group up with other people. 
and to, to make to, to uh, do accomplishments. So I definitely still have it and I'll probably go back and play it again later once more things have been added. Kind of like Arc Age, I went and checked it out again. Um, but it didn't really keep my interest. <laughs> Thanks, kitten girl. I appreciate those comments. Okay, so... Oh, I can repair stuff? Maybe I should have repaired it instead of creating a new one. Um... Okay, you can repair stuff. That's good to know. Alright, it's daytime again. My food's okay, water's okay. But I never pass up free food. Nice stone stuff here, too. Yeah. I think you have to type Chronic Gamer TV to find me on YouTube. With no spaces. I need 50 stone and 10 branches to make arrows. I hope I get a whole bunch. Drancil Darkness, how you doing? Whoa. That was weird. It looked like it was gonna roll away. Uh Bronlock, I am on hitbox right now should be. I'm doing YouTube, Twitch, and Hitbox. Oh, wow. 
It's possible my hitbox isn't working. But... All right, Dran. Welcome to the channel. All right, crafting some arrows. I'm not sure if the hitbox chat's connected though, but it does say three of three chat rooms are connected. It is a little harder, Chaz, you're right. I should try melee combat in first person too. It might be a little easier. There's a bunny. Yeah, that seems easier too. Nice, two flesh. Oh, you get blood on your sword too, that's nice. Slowly fades away. Did I get the did I get the pack? Um Freak Show, if you're referring to buying the package game of this on Steam, um this was um because I'm a streamer, I applied for a key and I was gifted a key. So um in return I stream for them. So I didn't purchase any packs. Oh, bark. That's new. Where's my food level? Don't split the bone. Drink some water. Be nice if they made some kind of gulping noise. Get the mount at the start. Oh, mounts in this game? That gets me excited. Alright, so that made 10 arrows, really. Let's see, archery seems to be decent. I like what I see so far. Should probably go hunt bigger game with this, though. All right, so a water skin, 20 hide and 10 twine. I only got 10 hide. Got all the clothes. Okay, so basically I got everything. I just need to start doing something now. I need to get some experience. Oh, I have to drag a bow? Okay. Drag an arrow. Bam! Thanks, Chaz. The graphics no different, though. Hello, CG. Hey, what's up, bud? Did uh, Ferrix Sir come down? I can't find it once again. No, I'm, I'm here. You have to search for his name, apostrophe S. Top left corner, you can type it in. 
And then it should show up. And I did PVE and I did everything like I did earlier, but it's not showing. Refresh the server list or something? So I kind of feel like right now I'm stuck between I need to level up to be able to unlock new recipes, which is kind of irking me. I don't like that, but that's my only gripe about the game so far. Combat seems like it's going to be fun, especially with like sword and shield. Because you can parry. I know why I can't see it. There was a patch a few minutes ago. Oh, and his thing isn't patched? Yeah. Then if I back out, I won't be able to get back in until he patches his server? Probably, maybe, I assume. Hmm. Well, I definitely don't want to back out until I'm done streaming here. Probably going to stream for maybe another half hour or so. I haven't eaten any food yet today. But I got kind of got, got established and kind of figure out what's going on here. So I just need to level up to the next level to unlock more recipes, I believe. Sounds delicious, Staunch. You still take some melee damage with the shield. Well, I would assume that you would. It shouldn't be invincible. And I think the better shields probably provide better coverage, like this targ down here. It's kind of cool. You can see every recipe. Sort of. It's probably not everyone. That's quite a bit. Alright, so next, I think I should really get... Probably a apprentice stonemason to be able to build a little fort. Be nice to get armor so I can get leather worker. I'm not seeing any servers now. This is weird. Oh, staunch. <laughs> Elite Dangerous and Conan. Yeah, I can't wait for the the commander's patch thing to come out to fly with other people on my ship. That's just gonna be so much fun and elite. Isn't that the new patch coming out, Grumps? The new uh, beta. I think it's gonna be multiplayer, yeah. Well, multi crew. Multi it's already yeah. multiplayer. Well, you know what I meant. Yeah, multi yeah. multi user ships. Hey, 
Hey, what's up, Chewington? You never got the expansion to Elite? Oh, you're missing out on quite a bit. Landing on planets is pretty phenomenal. So I'm assuming I just keep killing these rabbits and I'll go up and experience. I think collecting stuff probably gives you experience too. Stay away from giant spiders. That's that's good advice. I seem to be safe out here on this peninsula. I should probably adventure down the peninsula real quick, see what else is down here. stream here because uh, I can't get in I can't get the game to find any servers and I can't get in at all so I'm gonna have to and I, and I can't stop steam and restart it because it shows the game is already running so I'm gonna pull down my stream and I'm gonna reboot and I might be back all right Gramps good luck hmm I wonder if I could kill one of these things. I guess I could try. My respawn point's really close. Like, what would be the worst that would happen? I, um... Hmm. Uh, Chaz, I'll probably stream more of this. Yeah, I'm planning to do more than just one stream. I mean, if I enjoy a game, I, I'll stream it again, and I'm enjoying this. Um, I, I hate streaming games that I don't in, in like. So typically I'll try out a game before I stream it. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll be given keys to certain games, and I'll try them out, and I'm like, you know what? It's not for me. I would not do it justice by streaming. So typically games you see me stream, I have some kind of interest in to stream maybe some more. Um, Tuesdays are going to be my main stream days, so I'm doing Haven and Hearth, and I'll probably still do some Conan streams on that same day to kind of mix it up. And that's what I did this morning, so. Well, you know, there's only, there's only, the best time is, is now. So let's just try this. There's no other better time to try to kill something. A fucking alligator. What the hell? Where the hell did that alligator come from? <laughs> Shit, he fucking broke my shield. No, please leave me alone. Oh, he's fucking waiting for me. Oh, thanks for the follow there, Chaz, or the sub on uh, YouTube. You can check back through a lot of my old videos, because I have a lot of it. I have a lot of stuff on YouTube. A lot of good stuff still there. Okay, where did he go? Did he just vanish? 
Did you like bug out or something? I didn't see what happened. I feel shelled. Oh. Something happened. He's stuck there in the water. Okay, good news is I'm kind of back to my health. Bad news, broke shield. Just keep spamming an attack and I win I'll win. That was weird. I thought they would stack. One vanished. Maybe I used it. Against these guys anyway. Okay, well, he, now he's down in the water. I don't know what his deal is, yo. That was weird. I'm going to find you when you're sleeping. Do you offline sleep in this game too? <laughs> Savory flesh. Cook that savory flesh up. Bam, water's blue, food is blue. I think if you get it up to blue, it stays blue for a while. Found out how to get free co. Lure him into the water and just beat him up. Mmm, grilled steaks. Oh, free XP. Oh, that's right. I didn't have to make a new one. I could have just repaired my broken one. One of these days I'll learn. Okay, I'm back. Can you hear me? Yep. Well, I have various things to report. One, I can once again not see Ferric server in the entire list of PVE. Okay. Let can alone you, um, server, but 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 I actually I actually see a list this time. Oh, cool. Can you right click on me and join my game in Steam? I will try that. And the password is the same password as it was for 
the other server that we played, the Life is Feudal. All right. So that's right. I was gonna. It looks like once you get your water up blue and your food blue, it lasts a lot longer. So it's worth like fully eating and fully drinking. There's that big alligator over here somewhere. I gotta watch out for him. Oh, there's another one of those things. Oh, it's getting dark though. Oh, looks like there's a camp. Oh, there's more than one of those things. I wonder if they train. Okay, I do indeed now see Ferex exiled people in the game list, but it's grayed out because I I enabled show invalid servers, so. Nice, got him. Yeah. Bad, sad report. How do I add ad revenue on my YouTube videos? Uh, Muffet, you have to apply for it, I believe, and then they approve you, and then you're allowed to... Um, to do that that is correct so it's somewhere in YouTube underneath your settings your profile or something and then once they approve you then you have to pretty much um, go in with your video manager and monetize each video you want monetized Ooh, nice gained a level and um, put commercials where you want them pretty much they, they have an auto feature which will auto monetize your last 100 because I just did it like a week or so ago. All right, so what did I get? Oh, I got more stakes, more hides, and I leveled up. So now I can learn new recipes. Let's learn. I can learn the armorer's bench, or I could do apprentice stonemason first. I think I want to build a little base first. So a simple four, but the simple two by two would be suffice, I think. Oh, looks like I can learn more. Oh, this takes two to unlock. Theoretically, I could get torch, but I don't want to do torch. I want to save my point. And let's get one more. Let's get some more health. Oops, I didn't mean to spend two, but that'll work. So this is the new game in town. Is it any good? I personally just like Swords Funcom. Um, I can I I can kind of agree with you on that. I've I've played some games with them and been kind of disappointed in certain aspects in that. Um, 
I have been impressed with my initial reaction to this game and getting in. Um, it's very well optimized. It runs really smoothly for me. I haven't came across any issues. Um, and I really love the Conan universe, so I'm kind of trying to look past the company that may have created it and just trying to, um, you know, see, see, you know, see what it is for myself and uh, go from there instead of trying to use past judgments. I mean, because the obvious judgment says, oh, this is Ark and it's reskinned. And, and I played Ark and I didn't really enjoy it as much as I did have done this so far. Okay. I think I'm going to head back to my little area. And kind of see what kind of things I can start building. Well, I'm hosting you, buddy, for the people that I sent out a tweet and all got all kinds of people looking in, so... Oh, thanks, man. If I can't show it, at least you can show them for me. So when you have it set to non-full nudity, which is default, if you go on a full nude server, you'll still see clothes, right? Yeah. yeah I don't know. I don't really know the rules with Twitch and streaming uh, game nudity, but I just I'm not really into streaming it. So. Well, you wouldn't be streaming gay nudity. I'd be looking at your ass and voice <laughs> right now, or <laughs> your titties. <laughs> Game as in G A M E, but yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, missed it. I thought you said gay. gay. <laughs> <laughs> Not gay, but game. G A M E. All right. Let's see. It's getting daytime. What can I build? This is my foundation. Oh, that's the ceiling. Ooh, that's a wall. Sand ceiling. Foundation. Takes wood and stone. A whole buttload of stone. All right. Probably better off just mining stone. The sun and the shadows and the water um, are and the animations and stuff in this game are, are amazing. The shadow draw distance from objects that are like really far away. I really like the day night cycle, they did a good job. Okay, there are some rocks.
Okay, I see. I'm getting overloaded. That's what that symbol is. So I wondering what that third symbol was. It looked like a chess piece or something. Squished chess piece, but it's actually my weight limit. up there in the yeah. left corner that's yeah, it's probably an orange. anvil probably like an anvil for yeah. a weight or something. yeah now it looks like an anvil to me and i'm moving slower now You know, I thought the food and water was going to be horrid in this game because it kept going down so fast, but once you get full, it stays that way for a little while. Gives you a little break. Now, is this the same developer that did Ark, or did they come up with this independently, or... I mean, it looks just so much like Ark. Well, I'm sure it has lots of Ark influence. And the same with all the games that came after World of Warcraft. have enough stone but not enough wood now Yeah, it's, I mean, it's definitely, I feel like uh, Albion's got long a longer game that you can play for a lot longer. And this game will have its, its uh, it'll, it'll be fun. But it's going to be more like a game that you get together, play with your friends for a little while, and then stop playing. And then come back and play again later. And Albion's, I think, going to be more of a game where you can consistently log in and play or do something every day. Um, and, and it being a massive multiplayer versus a small server blade based multiplayer um, it's going to give you that better MMO experience yeah Funcom is definitely the one that has uh, developed this so all right so what was I going to do build my platform do I want to build up here or do I want to build down near the water I don't want to build on top of any resources, really. So if you're, I mean, if you're expecting this game to kind of take over your life like a real good MMORPG would, I don't, you know, I don't think it's going to. I mean, it could. I, th I think you could probably relate it to like life is futile your own servers or arc servers and you know that kind of a community more of than a like like life is futile mmo kind of vision you know what i mean yeah and and a rust is a good example as well Yeah, Michael, it's very similar.
It's my beach house. How's it run? It runs really smooth. I mean, I have back settings on. I don't have the best machine, but I'm at a constant 30 FPS, it looks like. Right now I'm getting 28, but it's very consistent. No real big spikes. 27 FPS. 25. Okay, <laughs> but beach house. What time is fair? Cause you get home or off work. 6.15 my time, he gets off work and it takes him about a half hour to 45 minutes to an hour if the traffic's bad to get home. Ouch. Yeah, he oh. lives like, he, he lives like in the outer DC area or so, like he's got sometimes standing still traffic to get through. He, he doesn't live very far, but it just takes him forever to get home from work. How does... How does one get putrid meat from trees? Is that what I was getting? That's uh, it's all that uh, monkey butt that's been rubbed up against it. <laughs> I, just, I didn't ever notice that, Tritosi. It's the putrid meat tree. I'm in heaven. Somebody just gifted gifted me a copy of Tavern Simulator that just came out on Steam. Drag Dragon's Keep or something like that. Uh, I've been I've had it on my wish list forever, but it, it keeps saying it's coming out all the time, and the, but it never did come out. So I guess it just finally came out. Nice, Michael. Now, do you know, is there only one map to Conan at this point? Is it a shared map everybody has, or is it generated when they create the server? Do you know? I think it's the same map, I believe. your first look at it streaming wise or did you do mm -hmm. a little bit last night oh, okay no I, I mean i did a first look last night made my character and then uh you know s see if i could was interested enough to stream and do it justice i typically won't stream games that i don't look feel like they're fun Yeah, all servers are on the same map, Chaz from YouTube says. See, there's like a, a super deluxe version on Steam that includes all kinds of things, including a T-shirt, uh, soundtracks from three games, and other cool stuff. Have you seen that? Nope. T-shirt to be mailed 
at some point. I forget what it said. Are you making a raft now? No, I'm making a little house in the water. my boat house. It'd be sweet if they had boats in the game, but I love games with boats. see animals and creatures or what have you seen yeah, so far there's um animals from the conan or animals and creatures from the conan universe and there's also npc races that like pick camps and stuff like that that are around with different level fighters and stuff in them they can enslave them yeah and you can enslave them and make them guard your base when you're not online hello manfred Sir Yannick. Hello, Yannick. Uh, Lumpy was going to join me on the server, but um, the server isn't updated, and I guess the game updated, so he's no longer able to connect to this server. And if I if I log off and then the game updates, I'm not going to be able to get back on either. So I'm just going to keep streaming maybe for about another half an hour here and end my stream, eat some food, etc. Hopefully by then the owner... Oh, he just sent me a message. All right, I told him, Lumpy, that it's his server needs to be updated. Um, so yeah, it's, it's it's a PVE server that my friend's running, and we're trying to all get connected and kind of check out the game together. Let's see, I'm almost completely overloaded.
This looks like fighting is the only thing that's giving me experience. You don't get experience from punching rocks and, and, and picking up stones? Well, maybe I do. It's just minimal. I was just surprised because it looks so much like Ark. I expected it to be like exactly like Ark. I mean, I don't see my experience. I'm at a like quarter experience here. It is nice to hear the Conan music again. Yeah, hopefully I don't get copyright flags. <laughs> this game is good. This game is... This is a game that will be really good at higher levels with tribes. Yeah, I could see that. Like right now, this is just the basics. Oh, in the in the patch a little bit ago, they went from 70-man servers down to 40-man servers for the official servers for now until they... Uh, they're having some problems. They just got to get them sorted. They said they'll re-up it when they can. Killing bunnies gives me a little experience. I'm gonna go try to kill some of those other big dudes because I need their meat. It's no crafting experience. That's kind of neat. I like that. I'm down with that. Yeah, that sounds much more promising. I like that. Cause you just I, like you just grind out crafting just to be able to get experience, which is like I, we who used really to wants to do that? When we were in Ark, we'd call each other from all over the island when somebody was going to make narcotics and stand in one place to make hundreds of narcotics, and we would just all sit there and level up. It was just, it was kind of weird. Alligator. Alligator. No ammo. That thing's gonna kill me. I'm like one bite from death. Still come. <laughs> Do I have any info on an Albion release? No, I don't. going to be in perpetual beta forever. No, that's uh, Star Citizen. Oh, good one. You got me back there. <laughs> Bada -bing. Food poisoning? What the? Did I eat raw stuff?
That alligator, I'm pissed. Yeah, I'm still hyped for Albion. It's one of the only games that I'm still hyped for after all these years. I can get 10 more arrows, maybe I can kill him. That's a lot of stone. But it'll make me a good, good arrow, so hopefully I can kill that alligator that keeps pestering me. Ah, uh, food poisoning. Am I gonna die because of this? I didn't realize I ate rotten meat or whatever I did, uncooked meat. Oh, there it goes. It's gone. I, I got a bedroll. I'm already set. It's like right here. You can't even see it. Where'd it go? Right here. I think that's a picked camp up over there. There, one time use. Well, I haven't respawned yet. I haven't died since I put it down. So, if I respawn, then I have to make another one, right? Oh, they have moon phases too. That's awesome. I wonder if that makes big differences like in the game somehow.
if they do another wipe, I'm going to definitely do another first look at Albion and check out all the new changes and stuff, so I definitely will be. Um, I want to try out all their new features whenever they come out with them. And then I'll probably stick around, try out some stuff, and then wait for release again. That's uh, typically what I end up doing. Man, it's dark. the sun. Alright, so I'm going to head out and get more stone, and if I run into that crocodile, maybe I'll be able to take him out this time. That croc always comes out of nowhere. I wonder if he's like in the water. And he gets he gets attracted to like blood. What's this over here? Why is that red? Oh. I think that's just graphical type of a sunset graphical glitch. Do you have a torch in my inventory? No, I don't have a torch. I haven't learned how to make him yet. Alright, let's take this dude out then. I don't see that alligator. I gotta say, the combat's a lot of fun. Oh, nice. Huh? On your left, Gator. In the water or right there on the ground? That's a that's a tree. in the water. Oh, bubbles. Is that a gator? When you see bubbles? what he said about bubbles for those of us in the other chat because uh, I'm curious what he said. He didn't say anything about bubbles but maybe it's a breathing thing. He says that uh, animals have set spawns and that there's the gators in the water but I didn't see a gator. I saw bubbles though. There's more bubbles out there.
I'm not seeing this gator. Alright, those are NPCs over there. You kill stuff, it comes back in the same spot. See, I was kind of noticing that. There's no randomness kind of to it. Maybe they'll do that down the line, but... Looked like he surrendered, but I don't want him surrendering. I'm slaughtering him. Ooh, he had the wood on him, giggity. Yes, human flesh. I wonder if I could eat that. Who else was up here at the fireplace? Looks like there's some floating beds where the NPCs spawn. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a cook. I, th I thought she surrendered. She stood still for a moment, put her hands up, I thought. I don't know what that means, though. She was a Stygian cook. I'm gonna cook her human flesh. Oh, and take the hide. Are you the cannibal religion? No, I'm not. So I, I, I'm, uh... Kron. Or Krom, sorry. And uh, let's see, where does it tell me if I am? Drop them though. So, are they supposed to surrender and then I'm supposed to do something with them, Chaz? Or. Maybe I gotta have something to burn. I, oh, I have to have like a wheel of pain or something. Oh, no, the wheel—the the wheel of pain comes with its own person. Uh, I don't know. The, I, the, I was watching a stream last night where the guy made a wheel of pain and put it down, and it had a guy automatically. Well, I'm sure there's a guy automatically, but you probably put guys on it to submit to your will, right, or whatever. Looked to me like it was a grain grinding thing. I don't know. Well, the wheel of pain in Conan is to. That I think traditionally he's just to like physically exhaust people or something like that. 
Oh, I need a rope. Yeah, it was like a big grinding stone. Somebody was just like spinning around and around and moving and moving. It was huge, but yeah. You have to knock them out, drag them back to the wheel, and break their mind on the Wheel of Pain. So and then they'll be your slave. I didn't mean to do that. Really? Don't worry, heal menu. <laughs> healing radius, nice. So he says you can make slaves dance for you, which gives you a healing radius. Hear the laminations of the women.
I have not seen a sandstorm yet. I mean, I've seen videos of it, but I've not seen one yet. All right, I'm gonna check out these bubbles. I guess you can't breathe off the bubbles, but I do see bubbles in there. Oh, I swam across. That's yeah, worth a try. <laughs> I'm gonna chop down this monster tree. I would say no. ceiling sheltered I'm at my three hour mark so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and fight some more real quick kill some NPCs probably end my stream here I really need some food today I streamed Haven and Heart this morning, followed by Conan. Tuesday is going to be a typical streaming day for me, so I'll probably be playing this some more. And this will be probably part one. Um, next time I come back, it'll probably be part two. And then you can kind of see the progress that I've made from being a 
naked and afraid on the beach to having a full empire. Okay, maybe not. But there'll be there'll be definitely other people in here playing with me and not just be by myself, so we could probably accomplish more as a group. Oh shit, two of them. Not good, out of stamina. players no. they're NPCs oh okay God's take yep. you. <laughs> they totally wrecked me I like Phil look my feet are sticking straight up now it's getting considered getting buried I was killed by a Sumerian cook. That's just... pathetic. They're still over there beating on my corpse. I'm not an ostrich. I'm not an ostrich! All right, hopefully I can get my looties loot back. We got a bunch of stuff to repair, it looks like, because of that. Well, that was definitely interesting. I didn't have enough stamina to swim out there, Chaz. My stamina was so low, I don't think I would have gotten into the water. I don't know. Probably would have drowned or something. Did you have to ask the uh, developers if they, uh, yeah, to give you the game, or did you, did they just send it? I applied for it several months ago. Okay. Yeah. Is that still possible? Um, I'm not sure. Why, were you gonna stream it? Maybe. Alright All right, guys, so, um, I'm gonna end my stream here. I've been playing this for about three hours, almost exactly. Um, I definitely had a really good experience. Definitely enjoyed this a lot better than Ark, um, survival. Even though Ark's kind of neat, it's got its own niche, uh, this game seems to run a lot smoother, and I found a lot of less... I, well, I didn't find any bugs, or any problems. So, I, I mean, for my first playthrough, first time experience, um, I, I've definitely enjoyed myself. So I will be streaming this again. And again, um, if you want to follow me on YouTube, make comment down below. I do respond to comments, and I appreciate comments, uh, good or bad. 
And then um, if you follow me today through Twitch, thanks for following. I don't have any notifications going on. And uh, thanks for being here. And hopefully we'll see you guys next Tuesday with some more fun. So see you later.